It's a funny old job this isn't it, you know um, certain cars just provoke certain memories don't they and you can just relate to a car and it just takes you way back to a certain day, stage, time in your life and 230TE Mercedes, um, oh yeah, as soon as I saw it, bang I was 14 again, 13, 14, my mum had one of these when I was 13, 14 so that was that 40 odd years ago nearly, uh, same thing, same colour, same spec, slightly darker trim but same thing, and uh, we used to travel from the south to the north in it regular, 230T, what a lovely car. First car that I actually drove on the main road, albeit illegally, uh, was one of these, there you go. So the 230TE, a popular car nowadays. They're, uh, they're few and far between, aren't they? Let's face it, most estate cars led a life, didn't they? They were a, a fairly well-used family car, weren't they, in general? And then once they got um, past that stage, they became very much a workhorse and they were used, weren't they, as, a, um, as a, an alternative to a van. So um, they become basically glorified vans. And because they tended to have a hard life, they were the first ones to get squashed. The saloon cars tended to have a, an E or tend to have an easier life, don't they? So um, anyhow, there you go. So the TE. So, I'll give you a little bit of a tour around so you can see what we've got. These videos, as I stress all the time, these videos are just to give you guys an extra layer of information. That's all they're there for, because a video can just get across, can't it? Things that perhaps a photograph can't. Um, just walking around here, because I noticed that this door's open, but the other doors aren't. I wonder how many miles the old girl's done. 166, there she is, look. Let's get it fired up. It sounds well enough, the old thing. Sunroof work. Oh, ah, yes. Sunroof works. Brilliant sunroof they are. Nice inside, level inside. Leather wants reconditioning or um, conolizing is the word I was looking for, really. Uh, very little wear on the gear, uh, gear stick, on the steering wheel gear selector this seat wants a bit of repair and they all want colouring up the seats let's have a look in the back not bad on the doors and out there though. that's where they tend to go don't they all the, all the mud cells again very acceptable in there oh yeah done some miles in the back of one of these I'll tell you and a seven-seater. Yeah, we never had the conversion in the back of ours. That would be quite an unusual conversion, that, won't it? Which obviously folds flat, if you're not familiar, but I'm sure you will be. And then you've got the, um, you've got the load cover. That's normally missing. You've got the load cover that pulls out, and you've got, it's not a dog color, car, uh, a dog ga a gauge thing. It's, um, it's more of a cargo net that goes up. The idea being, obviously, that it stops anything that's in the boot coming through and giving you a wallop on the back of the head uh, if you obviously have a brake hard or anything. Let's have a look in this door shut as well. That's really good is that, that is really good. A little bit on the corner there, but nothing major. <laughs> I think the old girl will make up actually. Mick, can you just pull that bonnet up for me? I don't like to do it with one hand, it should have a little Oh, they're maybe just underneath here, are they? Ah, oh, you've got it, that's it. I don't like to, I thought it'd be that plastic. I don't like to pull the plastic when, and lift at the same time. Oh, recent battery by the looks of things, guys. Looks clever enough, doesn't it? Want a bit of water in there? Want a bit in there? No pressure, though. No, it's been ticking over for a while, aren't there? There's no pressure there. Good. Well, there you go, guys. You can put it down now, Mick. We're sorted. Thank you. So the 230TE, the state is a state car. Come down and have a look. Going through our next sale. Just see what it wants. Make a few notes. Then you know in your own mind what you've got to spend.